guys, today's video is going to be highly requested. This is college talk number 11, me talking all about my psychology major. I've gotten a lot of questions about people interested in being a psych major or those of you who already are psych majors who are wondering what I'm going to do with it, which I will address um, at some point in this video. Before I get started though, I'm going to give you guys the same disclaimer that I, for some reason, have left out of several college talks in the past. My bad. But I want to say this is my personal experiences, my opinions. This is not going to reflect on yours necessarily. This is just my opinion about college and how my experiences have changed what I think and all that stuff. Just it's all relative really. Okay so let's get started. I wrote down a few questions that I'm going to answer um, just based on things that you guys have sent me and things that I would want to know um, if I was curious about being a psych major I guess. So the first thing is what is psychology? Now, I pulled up the Wikipedia page because Wikipedia is a very reliable source, but I mean it gives a good enough definition. So it says, psychology is an academic and applied discipline that involves the scientific study of mental functions and behaviors. Uh, psychology has the immediate goal of understanding individuals and groups by both establishing general principles and researching specific cases. This is 100% true. So, psych. I just like to say it, it's the study of people, it's the study of behavior, it's the study of um, thought processes, it's the study of relationships, it's it's all about us, really, I mean, <laughs> that's great, isn't it? A lot of people ask me the difference between psychology and sociology. Sociology is a study kind of as groups as a whole, like society, so whereas psych is more focused on the individual, I would say anyway, sociology is more about just more, I guess, bigger picture type thing. So that's at least how I view it. I did take a sociology class, so that's kind of the main difference that I saw. Okay, so the next question, why did I choose psychology over all the other majors in, that are available? To be honest, I feel like for such a large university, mine doesn't offer as many majors as I would expect, or at least not as many for me to choose from that would interest me to use in the future. So I chose psychology because I've said this several times before in many stories, but my freshman year, actually when I was in high school, I had this idea that I would be a science major, I would go to med school, you know, I'd be pre-med in college or undergrad, and that was just the way that my, my life would go. I was going to be a pediatrician. It wasn't necessarily that I wanted to do this, but that was, it was like an idea that had been implanted in my mind, and since... Since I was a kid, it was always like, I'm going to go to med school, like this is just kind of what's expected and I was like, well, I mean, I guess, like, <laughs> I wasn't passionate about it or anything, but it was like, it's, it's an idea. So after my freshman year, during my freshman year of college, I realized that I hate science with a passion. It's not necessarily that I don't respect the field, it's just it, I don't have any interest in it. In fact, I have a great dislike for it, <laughs> just because it's not... It's not my thing. I don't find it, it, I just don't, I don't like it. So I realized, well, like, I probably will not go to med school considering everything is science based. So that whole thing kind of got cut and then I was like in this stage of confusion and panic uh, as far as what am I going to do now. So I tried a lot of different classes, just general, uh, under, div lower division classes that just so I could explore different options, and psychology was the only one that really caught my attention. Not to say though that when I took it I knew it was right for me, because I still wasn't sure. I declared the psych major and I still wasn't sure if that was what I wanted, but it was getting too far along that I just I had to stick with something or else I wasn't going to graduate ever. So um, I stuck with psychology. Uh, I was planning in the beginning to get a BS, which is a Bachelor of Science in um, psychology, but I realized I don't think I'm actually going to want to progress in the psychology field specifically, so I decided to just go with the BA, which is a Bachelor of Arts. In a nutshell, I chose psychology because it interested me, it, it, it felt like a good choice, it's very, very broad, and um, I also was running out of time, so those are the main reasons. Okay, so what courses are required for a psych major? Now, before I get into this, I'm not going to tell you specific classes just because it is most definitely going to vary across campuses. I know friends who are, I'm, I've said before I go to UC, I have a friend who goes to a different UC, their psych requirements are different from ours. So keep that in mind, but there is kind of a general consensus as far as what types of classes you have to take. 
there are the lower division classes and the upper division classes. So when you're um, an underclassman, generally you take the easier, more intro type classes. Um, so there are some prereqs you have to take. I had to take a statistics class, which strangely is actually a psychology class. Like it's labeled as a psych class. And I think that's actually very common across the board. So I did have to take a stats class. One class that I haven't taken yet that I've been putting off is a computer programming class. Why I have to take that to get a BA in psych, I still don't know, but I have to take one of those. Um, your basic science classes, your math classes, those are generally GEs for whatever college you go to anyways. That's not really any additional thing for the major, but well actually that's also because I already had my math credits for the most part. I only had to take multivariable calc when I was a freshman and then I was already done with any sort of math that I would need. That's out of the way. Once you get past the prereqs, that's pretty much the only ones that I would even take note of. Um, then you get into the upper division classes. My school, we have to take 12 upper division um, psych elective courses. Or actually, technically, it's five core classes and seven elective classes. The five that we have to take are uh, required for all psych majors. So there are things like social psychology, cognitive psychology, like very basic psych classes that everyone as a psych major needs to take. But then the elective ones are cooler things. Right now I'm taking criminology, I've taken, taken parenting, I have taken uh, love and attraction, which I've talked about before. They're more interesting, they relate to like everyday life. There are some that go more in depth with the boring stuff like neuro whatever, but there's cool ones like the ones that I've gotten to take. So I find them to be very interesting. Not to say that they will offer the exact same elective type courses at every school, but they might offer uh, a lot of the similar ones. Okay, so the next question, is it easy? Now, it depends on how you look at it. I don't really know how to answer this question because I've gotten this question a lot. Generally, people who are psych majors are judged because psych classes are typically considered to be easy. but. It's, it's a different kind of studying compared to being like a science major um, where they have a lot of, it's just a very different type. So psych classes, it's a lot of memorization, it's, it's a lot of concepts as far as people and situations and stuff like that go. Um, it's a different type of study. I, I don't know how to explain it exactly. I wouldn't say that it's easy. I, I don't know if I would say it's as difficult as being something else, like a science major, but that might be just because that's where I stand. I think it's overall being where I am, I would say it's easier than being a science major simply because I could never be a science major, but if I was a... One second. Sorry. But if I was a science major, I don't think that I would think being a psych major is exactly easy. So it's kind of like, I don't know how to answer that question, but I've gotten it so many times I thought that I would address it. Um, so <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Next question, what do you like about psychology and what do you dislike? So the thing that I really like about psychology is the fact that it is so relatable to everyday situations. What I hate about some classes, just not psych classes, but generally when you've been learning for these past million years, is that a lot of it is just like, what am I going to use this for? Like, how, why am I learning this right now? And for psych, I feel like it's, it's like, because this is our, this, these are our lives. Like, <laughs> we talk about things that are very relevant, not only now, but that will be in the future, that were in the past, that will affect things to come. I think that that is very respectable, and I don't think a lot of people take that seriously. Not to say that other fields don't do that as well, but I feel like all psych classes just do that. So I really, really like that about it. Also, I like that it's a broad field because you can do anything with it. That's also something that I greatly dislike because of the fact that it's so broad, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so that's a nice segue into the next question. What can you do with a psych degree? And what am I gonna do with my psych degree? I don't know what I'm doing with my psych degree. And I get this question a lot, and every time I get asked it, it makes me very anxious, and I freak out a little bit, a lot. So I, I try not to answer it because it makes me nervous. But yeah, I don't know yet, which is really scary. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it's fine, like, oh, I'll do something with it. I don't know yet. And I, I've looked into different things, but it's hard to 
decide when I have a lot of different interests, a lot of conflicting interests as well. So my mom suggested going into criminal psychology, which would be like profiling, like criminal mind type thing, but doing it in real life in, as opposed to watching it on TV is a very different situation. And I've been really trying to avoid going to grad school because I don't want to go to grad school. I probably should, but I really don't want to. So that's something I've been avoiding as well. Speaking of grad school, so what can you do with a psych degree? Uh, well, with just a general psych degree, there's not a whole lot you can do if you want to make a lot of money, which I think is a lot of people's interests. Money. So in order to do something I think bigger with your psych degree, you're going to have to go to grad school and you're going to have to find a focus uh, as far as what you want to do in psychology, whether it is criminal psychology or social psychology, whether you want to focus on research or whether you want to do more of a clinical sort of situation. If you want to be a therapist, you want to be a psychologist versus a psychiatrist, which means you have to go to med school to get um, an MD to be a psychiatrist. Psychiatrists can give out medicine. I'm going to just call it medicine, whereas psychologists cannot, they're simply, not. I don't want to say simply, but they're just therapists, so you can talk to them and stuff. Other things, there's also, uh, what's it called, organizational psychology, which is psychology in the workplace. Those are people who go in and basically try to fix any problems that people are having amongst themselves in a big corporation or something like that. Um, you could become a high school counselor, a college counselor. Um, what else can you do with a psych degree? It's, it really depends on where you want to go in the field because it is just, it's so broad. And of course you could become a professor, but generally people who become professors also go to grad school and have some sort of focus and then they start teaching about that focus. So yeah, I, I, again, I don't know what I want to do. It's a really tough place where I am right now. So that's that. Overall, I love psychology. I find it to be very interesting. I don't regret being a psychology major at all. However, it is, it's not quite as clear cut as I wish it was just because I, I don't know what I want to do with it. But I, I recommend, even if you have zero interest in being a psych major, consider minoring in it if you have the option to or at least just take a couple classes because they're interesting. Like, I really do recommend it. I don't feel like I talk like a psych major, but I, I have found myself starting to <laughs> sort of psychoanalyze some people unknowingly, but I find myself doing it sometimes, or just looking back at things and being like, oh, that, that meant that, hmm. I don't know, I think it's cool, so. That's all I have to say. If you have any other questions about being a psych major, feel free to ask them in the comments. But that's it for now, and I will see you guys later. Bye.